And what we mean by this is, you know, it goes beyond, you know, what it is you can just do with the high visual fidelity and the high quality renders you can get out of it. And we're starting to see more and more people within the architecture engineering world build functionality into their models on top of the high visuals. So what I want to spend a little bit of time today is just taking you through a couple of those use cases of where in the industry we're seeing people taking the Unreal Engine, taking that functionality and creating the next step of the story. But before we get started on it, I just want to quickly kind of set the scene a little bit, you know, and a little bit more about, you know, where we see this twin motion and Unreal integration. Um, and to do that, I want to introduce a very sort of simple concept, which is this idea of the story arc. Um, I realize it's not an arc and it's more of a line, but you know, we can use our imaginations. It's more arc-like. Um, but everyone knows the story arc is, you know, it's a way that movies tell stories. It's the way that you know architects tell stories. It's the traditional way that you know we come up with this exposition, you know, and then there's this big climax of sharing the idea, this sort of moment of realization, and then this resolution at the opposite ends. And you know, it comes in this idea of you know this rising action up and then falling action. And this is typically how we always present. And it's always how we represent our ideas within the architecture world, um, especially to the end client. And, you know, to put this story arc more into an architectural scope, you know, we can kind of see you come up with this concept and there's this rising action as you work through the designs and develop it. And then you finalize on this amazing image. However, I am also very aware, I, I, I come from the architecture side um, rather than the arc viz side that, you know, between the two of us, our architecture arc is probably a lot more like this um, of just constant design iterations and changes. And it's always going back and you think you're almost there and you're right back again because you've had a big dramatic project change. So we really need an ecosystem which corresponds to this way of working. We're looking at an ecosystem that is flexible to the needs of the industry and the needs and wants of the end users. And then obviously they go beyond that, that once we have the resolution, it can then go on and be a multitude of other things. Because this isn't just for us to work maybe internally within the art biz world. This is also to create a bridge between the architects and engineers of the world who are working on their BIM models and are working on maybe the 2D documentation, but allowing them a potential tool like Twinmotion to be the start. So they can start visualizing ideas very quickly and very simply, but then hand it over to the experts who can then take it to the next level. <laughs> 